it's Carrie. Lots of interesting animals today. Today I'm going to do the green box here at the back. You can see the big crocodile in it. Lots of interesting animals. Subscribe and give a thumbs up if you like wild animals. Tell me what your favourite animal is today. It doesn't have to be in this box. I'm just going to take a few animals now to save time. The magnificent lion. It lives in the grassland scrub and open woodlands of sub-Saharan Africa. Males and females take on very different roles in the pride. Male lions spend their time guarding their territory and their cubs. They maintain the boundaries of their territory, which can be very large, by roaring, mucking it with urine and chasing off intruders. Their thick manes, a unique trait to the male lions, protects their necks when they fight with challenges. The lioness. Female lions are the primary hunters of the group. They are smaller and more agile than males, but since their prey is still generally faster than them, they use teamwork to bring an animal down. They form a semicircle with the smaller, weakened lionesses herding the prey towards the centre. Then the stronger females knock the animal down and make the kill. Lions usually hunt at night and here's one of the sweet little cubs. They're able to fend for themselves at around two years of age. The warthog. They are members of the same family as domestic pigs. Their large flat heads are covered with warts which are usually protective bumps. Warthogs also sport four sharp tusks. They are mostly bald but they do have some sparse hair with a thicker mane on their back. I think you can smell something. The Red River Hog is also known as the Bush Pig and it is a wild member of the pig family living in Africa. It is rarely seen away from rainforests and generally prefers to live near rivers or swamps. The Red River Hogs use their strong snout to root around in the ground and search for food. The Red River Hog is mainly found in rainforests in the Guinean and Congolian forests. A quick tidy up and more animals coming. The giraffe, such a splendid animal. This one's in a pose for drinking water. They are most vulnerable when they're bending down, drinking water. Luckily they don't have to drink water too often. They get quite a bit of moisture from their leafy nerves. The crocodile with those massive jaws and serrated teeth. Quite a nice model this one, it's one of my jumbo ones and it's quite soft to touch. Such a splendid model. Crocodiles kill roughly 3,000 people a year with hundreds of fatal attacks caused by the Nile crocodile in sub-Saharan Africa. Crocodiles have very strong and powerful jaws. Rhinoceros. They have thick protective skin but it can be quite sensitive to sunburns and insect bites which is why they like to wallow so much. When the mud dries it acts as a protection from the sunburn and insect bites. Rhinos are short-sighted and bad-tempered which makes them very dangerous. They'll charge at full force and use their horns to kill or injure what they think might be a danger 
or annoyance to them. The name rhinoceros means nose horn and is often shortened to rhino. The hippopotamus, such a wide open mouth and long teeth. In reality, the hippopotamus is a dangerous creature. They have powerful jaws and sharp teeth that can crush a crocodile or split a boat in two. The ostrich is the largest bird in the world. Even though it has wings, it can't fly, but it makes up for the lack of flight by running very fast. This is a male bird. The males have black feathers with some white on the underside and tail. The females are usually grey in colour. The baby ostrich. Each herd has one big nest where all the eggs are laid. This way the entire herd can help to protect the eggs. Hyenas are closely related to cats, mongooses, civets and alleys, even though they look much like a dog. Notice how the back slopes down towards the tail. It has a crest of long hair that stands up when it's fighting. The okapi, one of my favourite African animals. It is the only living relative of the giraffe. It lives in the central and eastern parts of the Congo in Africa. They like to live in rainforests. Females are much larger than males. Okapi has dark purple or reddish brown velvety fur with white horizontal stripes on their front and hind legs. They search for food during the afternoon and the early evening. It is able to swallow and regurgitate its food much like a cow. Only the males have horns which are covered with skin. The females have bumps on their head instead of horns. Elephant. The trunk is an extension of the upper lip and nose and is used for communication and for finding food and picking up objects. Their tusks are just large modified incisors that grow out through an elephant's lifetime. They occur in both males and females in the African elephants and they're used in fights and for marking, feeding and digging. Their large ears help them to lose heat. The Gorilla. Adult males are known as silverbacks due to the patch of silver coloured hair on their backs. You can see it right there. When male gorillas are challenged, they will beat their chest and charge it at their perceived threat. Gorillas are herbivores and eat plant matter and fruits. They live in groups mainly on the ground. The Pelican is so easily recognisable with its throat pouch. These large birds use their elastic pouches to catch fish. Young pelicans feed by sticking their bills into their parents' throats to retrieve food. The oryx is a type of antelope. They can be found in eastern and southern parts of Africa. The oryx intimidates predators by standing sideways to look bigger or by using its long horns for self-defense. African elephant. Their thick set bodies rest on stocky legs and they have concave back. Elephant mating rituals include the gentle entwining of trunks. There are two subspecies of elephants, the larger savanna elephant and then the smaller forest elephant. Both live in Africa but in different places. The zebra can be instantly recognised by their striking black and white stripes. Eyes at the side of the head provide good all-round vision by night and day, while erect mobile ears with acute hearing listen out for danger. They tend to run away from predators, but 
that will kick and bite to defend themselves if necessary. They sleep standing up and mostly eat grass and leaves. Their teeth are specially equipped to munch through the grass and leaves. There's a fun ending coming up today. See how many of the wild animal names you can remember. Here's travel. Thank you for watching my video. It really helps if you can share my videos on any of the social media sites that you like to visit. See you again soon. Ha ha ha!